everybody. Welcome back to one of Kendall's videos. Kendall's intros. The videos no one watches. Well, some people do, and I really appreciate you. I, like, really do. But the majority of you probably won't watch this. I'm going to make it anyway. Are you doing the intro? Yeah. So this is a plant box. No, art. What's the intro? Oh, hi, I'm Kendall. I, I'm Michael. Go ahead. This is Box Pop and Beauty. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. It's always a wild ride. You never know which direction it's going. <laughs> um, this is the plant box. This is something I bought from a friend of mine. Um, her name is Jenny. And she has she the plant collective. Does these sometimes. Um, she sells a lot of rare aeroids and other plants. So she has a lot of like rare plants in her collection and she cuts them sometimes or grows them sometimes and sells them. She's really wonderful and she's a very good person. She's a good friend. And um, this box was $100. What? It was. I know. It was $100 plus $14 shipping, which is understandable because this box is really huge. And the guaranteed item, we always say this with Michael's boxes and never with mine. The guaranteed hit of this box in every box was a melanocrysum a cutting of a melanocrysum which is very exciting those go for 100 150 dollars by themselves so to have that in a box with other plants is are these rooted cuttings i believe they are rooted cuttings yes good question though thanks about to be another cutting the good thing about opening boxes is you can kind of open them however you want and they just open like you don't even have to cut right on the line okay this is taped in it's it's packaged really nicely don't mind michael's face what the heck there's a little note in here let's just get all this off it's really hard to ship plants right now because it's so hot so she did this really, really well. And this note just, oh, she painted, I was on the, I was on Insta, Instant Messenger with her when she painted this. Aww. She painted a note. Here we go. We'll get to the melanocrysum at some point, who knows when. They're all wrapped individually and they're not like labeled or anything. So I would assume she would label it if it was really going to someone she didn't know new plants very well. I'm sure she does that. But she knew this was coming to me, so I don't need the labels unless I end up needing the labels because I don't know what it is. We'll see. Okay, this is a Scandapsis pictus. Let me try to get to it. That's one of Kendall's favorites. I love this plant, and actually I think this is a form that I don't have. I don't know if this is an Exotica or a Silvery Ann. I don't know all the Scandapsis pictus off the top of my head. So I'm really sorry if you're a plant person that just makes you cringe. But there it is. It's beautiful. And I do believe there's roots in here. Can't quite tell, but I think so. What do you have? That guy. Uh, that's a Cebu Blue, I think. Cebu Play? <laughs> These are wrapped so nicely. Yeah, they are packaged really nice. Jenny did a great job. They each have like their own little blanket, paper blanket. More than half this video is just going to be me trying to open this. Nope, that's going to be edited out. This might be the melanocrysum. Can't, we'll see at the very end if this is it or not. But I think this is it. It doesn't look fantastic, but I left it in the box for two days. So there's that. There's a little bit of yellowing, but it's gorgeous. A melanocrysum for anyone who's like curious or newer to plants is like the large form of a philodendron micans. They look very similar, but they kind of don't at the same time. This guy needs help. Oh, he might be dead. No, I think he's got a good stock. He just has a bad leaf. I don't know what this is. This might just be a heart leaf philodendron. He's not happy. We'll put him in some water and just see what comes of it. Is this just paper? I don't want to throw any plants away. I think the rest is just paper. So that must be the melanocrysum then. He just doesn't look that great. Which is our fault for not filming sooner. Oh, cool. This is a stromanthi, I think. 
It kind of looks like one of those white fusions, but ugh, not entirely sure on what this is. Jenny's going to be so disappointed in me. It looks like a stromanthia of some kind. I feel like I know it in somewhere in the recesses of my brain, but not at the moment. Is that it? That's it. I think. So um, this is the Melanochrysum. He's not entirely unrecognizable or anything. He's just small and yellowing from the weather. Let's just see for everyone at home if it's a rooted cutting. Can you get into this? This plant is really cute, whatever it is. It's very thick, feels substantial. It's really, really cute. But like I said, the Melanochrysum on its own goes for $100 to $150, depending on the size of the cutting. So just getting a Melanochrysum along with other stuff for $100 is really, really good. And I probably wouldn't have owned one if it wasn't for this because I just don't know that I would spend that on a plant. Well, I would spend that on... I would spend a lot of money on a Spirit of Sancti. I would spend at least $1,200 on a Spirit of Sancti and I would do it happily. But I wouldn't do that for all plants. So what's the verdict? Any roots? Yeah, cool. Rooted cutting. There's roots there. There he is. This is the star of the show. He looks pretty darn good. Um, I think he's going to make it. This leaf might not make it, but I think it will make it in general. She packed them in spag. They feel really good. So, Scandapsis pictus of some kind. Melanochrysum. Whatever this was, I don't know. It looks like just a heartleaf philodendron, but I honestly don't know. Cebu Blue, I think. Jenny can correct me if I'm wrong. And whatever this is, because I really don't know off the top of my head. I know I've seen it before. I know I've never bought one. That's all I know. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. It's a good box. If you're happy, I'm happy. Somehow that annoys me. Of course it does. My uh, happiness annoys you. Thank you guys for watching. For anyone who actually watches this because... My plant, my plants, my boxes are not as exciting as Michael's boxes, but to me, they're as exciting. And if you're a plant person, they're exciting. If you're a Kendall person, maybe they're exciting. I think Kendall's box is exciting. Okay. Well, anyway, with that, we're done here. <laughs> we will, uh, if we can, we'll link some contact information down below if you'd like to get a hold of Jenny for a mystery box of your own. We'll actually just link Kendall. Isn't she in your group? Yeah. Plants Across America. That's my group. I'm a mod. I'm barely a mod. I'm on the mod team and I'm friends with the mods, but like I don't do anything for the page because I just have no time. But um, they're a great group of women and now men who are running the page. And um, it's a good page to check out and support. Anyway, anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. We hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.